look at the uh let me zoom in here look at the look at the mileage i just i just love the fact that this thing's got you know such low mileage clean carfax clean title <laughs> Welcome to the Driven to Compete channel. My name is Sean. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hey, listen, uh, today's video is going to be an update to my SRT4 ACR uh, build. I'm going to give you guys uh, the uh, ins and outs of how it turned out. Uh, I'm happy to share with you um, the build because uh, if those of you that are new, or those of you that kind of caught the first video, I bought the car last year. It was literally a barn find, uh, found it in a tractor barn, and uh, had 19,000 some odd original miles. And uh, it had had um, some modifications that I didn't care for done to it. Uh, uh, things that you would have found uh, back in the early to mid 2000s. And uh, I just didn't uh, care for it. I wanted to kind of put it back to uh, uh, closer to OEM. So I did that and uh, along the way I found some surprises that I took care of and there were videos on that as well. But uh, here it is and I hope that uh, you you appreciate it as much as I do. Um, I do have the car for sale. It is on Marketplace. If it doesn't sell, I'm not going to be heartbroken. I'm going to keep the car and, uh, and uh, enjoy it. Honestly, because let's be honest, there's less and less of these cars around, um, and especially with low miles. So let's get to it. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with the interior, and as you can see, I chose to go with a three gauge pillar. Originally, they had the gauges. They had eliminated the vents, and they had gauges across here. I didn't care for that. Um, they also had two gauges up here. And I, I just, I'm all about keeping it clean. So with a friend, uh, friend's help, Justin, if he's watching this video, Justin Gilmore was a big help in helping me locate parts. And I was able to get some of the OEM correct parts for the car and put the car back to where it should have been at. So you can kind of see what I did to it. I, I really uh, tried to clean it up, keep it, uh, you know, this would have been something that I would have done if I bought the car new. And uh, I thought that that was tasteful. The gauges all match the, the OEMs. And I want to show you, this is one of the cool things about the car, is if I turn this on, and uh, we'll, we'll just do that. We'll look at the, uh, let me zoom in here. Look at the, look at the mileage. I just, I just love the fact that this thing's got, you know, such low mileage, clean Carfax, clean title. And uh, so anyway, let me go ahead and step out and I'll show you the interior. So here's the interior. When's the last time you saw seats that looked brand new? How about that? I just love it. I love the uh, the fact that the ACRs have the specific seats. And you can see, you know, um, just it turned out so nice to be able to, to, you know, put the car back. The door panels it even has the original owner's manual. You know, just everything turned out so well on the car. You see if the doors are unlocked here, the back seat. Literally, it looks like a car would look like if it had 20,000 original miles. Um, you know, I love it. I did let the window tint on the car because, like I said, uh, I wanted it to look like it should have, would have, should have looked like um, if I would have modded it myself back in the day. So let's get to the actual car itself. Now I do have the hood pop, so uh, I can show you that at some point, but, but check it out. I did have to do a repair to the front bumper. That's the only part that's, that's really um, had to uh, fully been touched because it came from a state that had a front license plate and it just screwed it fast to the front bumper instead of putting a bracket or something on it. So yeah, the car itself, so you know, the hood has some, some really, really minute, fine stone chips. What you would expect from a 20,000 mile car. But other than that, it's beautiful. It has the upgraded intercooler. It has an intercooler sprayer on it. Some really cool stuff that you would have found back in the day. You know, I was able to, to locate correct BBS wheels with the correct center caps for it. Um, and then I went ahead and I put the autocross style tire on it. Uh, it has been upgraded previous owner 
upgraded it with Will Woods um, on it. Uh, you can see the paint is just for for uh, original paint, and there's there's orange peel on them from the factory. But I mean, I gotta tell you, very happy with it. You can even see here; these are in great shape. Um, these always turn start to like white, turn white. You can see the condition that they're in. You can see how everything's just in great shape for one of these cars. Back brakes as well, and somebody has upgraded the rotors on the back. Uh, and they are a uh, slotted rotor you can see the wheels the, the uh, falcon tires the back end as you can see I left these tail lights on it because I was told that they're a pretty rare option it would have been uh, so yeah um, let me show you the trunk while we're around here to the back I'll open the trunk up for you and uh, they had a nitrous sprayer it is for the front, uh, for the intercooler sprayer. I, it is not, it is plumbed, but it is not electrically hooked up. But I did think it was cool. Um, full size spare still there. Everything's there. It's in rear sway bars are uh, across the back with a matching sway bar in the front. I'll show you that then. Very clean car overall. Um, again, short throw her shifter. Um, very few mods inside that, that are noticeable. Of course, the stubby antenna was a big, big deal that everybody did. Um, see if I can do this with one hand. I may have to, uh, may have to switch this off. There we go. Then there are hood struts on this. You can tell it's the original hood. You can see the stickers everything's still there there's still some there's some marks from over the years but the, it's original hood very clean everything's been powder coated or painted black it has the cold air intake that would have been available from Mopar performance back in the day the DC sports uh, struck bar across the front that matches in the rear some really nice mods uh, yeah, so you can see it's got some nice upgrades. Uh, the car has the Mopar Stage 2 injectors. Um, it is on uh, computer control boost. You can see there it has a big wheel stock turbo. Let me zoom in there for you. Big wheel stock back there. It's, a, it's just a beautiful car. Um, made 317 to the wheels, 323 torque. And uh, I'm just excited to share it with you. Um, I do, I did have this brake while I was um, cleaning it up. I'll have to replace the nozzle. Uh, plastic parts like that as they age just become um, brittle. But you can see here, you know, all the hoses are braided. Everything matches. Just a really nice, really nice car. Really nice. As you would expect for a low mileage car. But uh, yeah, so there you have it. And I gotta tell you, it's rust free and it's just as clean on the underside as it is on the top. All right, now as clean as this car is, can you believe that I was going to originally list it on Bring a Trailer? Everything works, there's no check engine lights, AC blows ice cold, the car is inspected. Uh, I mean, it runs great. I would not hesitate to jump in this car and, and drive eight hours across country somewhere. But um, I had submitted like 32 photos to bring a trailer and they declined to list it on their website because I wouldn't do uh, a no reserve or a very low reserve auction. And I said, look, you know what? what you think the car is worth and what I feel that the market is for these cars is maybe two different things. It is a limited production car. It's a low mileage. I'll be honest with you. I, I, there's two, there's two sides that I hear people say, ah, it, it, it is just a neon. Um, you know, these cars are only worth what they're worth, but uh, I believe that a uh, real nice low mileage rust free versions of these cars are worth, you know, um, mid to upper 20s. In fact, 
two months ago at uh, Mecom Tulsa, a 05 with 9,100 miles, just an, an SRT4, not even an ACR, did 38.5. Now, I'm not saying that everybody that has a low mileage SRT4, yeah, the Gruger cars were that kind of money but i'm saying is is that to the right buyer these cars are worth something so you know i was trying to get uh, i would like to get 24 for mine and uh i know what i have in it i, I know what i bought, bought it for i know what i had to put in it to go through it for parts and labor um i, I uh, made a lot of upgrades when i did go through the car anything that was older that i you know thought felt like could be replaced um, I did. I did it not because I was um, going to resell the car, but because if I decided, I treated it as if I was going to keep it. I built it as if I was going to keep it. Because at the time, I wasn't sure what I was doing with the car. So, you know, I put the best parts I could find in the car. Um, you know, so like I upgraded the throttle body, okay? Um, the braided lines that you you saw, um, things of that nature had uh, different pieces repainted or... Um, repowder coated um you know uh repairs done like i said i paid big money for that bumper to be repainted in the front of the car because i wanted i didn't want them to have to blend it i wanted the only the bumper to be touched and you know i paid for that and uh you know there was other things to tuning to get the car ready to tune um lower control arms were off the car i put um camber adjustment bolts on we did in alignment realized that it uh, it still needed camera adjustment bolts so i went ahead and, and bought those and went back and had it aligned a second time i mean i haven't spared any expense i uh, did the car right i'm proud of the car and uh, I, I hopefully the video um shows just how nice this car really is with that said uh, i appreciate your time and uh, i wish you the very best thanks for watching until next time driven to compete watch like subscribe